Okay, welcome back to the next episode. So, I've just closed it down and saved the changes, and what we're going to do is we can have a wee look at my YouTube channel and see the full video if we wanted, but as I said, eight hours, very long. So, without further ado, let's get into things that we need to download. So, we need the Maps Model Importer and we can download the latest release, get clicking on here and get in the zip file that we want. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it and you know what, I will actually because it's good to see things being shown. So I've just downloaded the new Blender as well to save some time and if you don't want to do that we can go to the code instead of clicking on release we can download zip, we can use github desktop or git commands you can go that way but you are going to need this one but if you do download it through this zip file you will get access to if you download off the master branch his new experimental feature I'm going to test it out eventually and I might as well download it so I have it for a future reference and I'll show you how to implement the changes and we can see the changes in the future video. So we've got our map model importer and now we need Blender. So blender.org, go to the actual website. You can google Blender and you'll find Blender. I'm using 3.6, the LTS version. Um, I just literally downloaded the if I go to build the 3.61 version because I believe I was using 3.60 but they've made a couple more changes so I've downloaded the newest version and I downloaded it by clicking on this but I'm not going to do that because as I showed you if I go to download I've already downloaded it and all I did was clicked on that you can also go to their GitHub page and do the same as before. Um, uh, we're looking at the official repository, and they've changed how it's laid out. So that's interesting. There it is. So you can download the zip to get the main branch, but the main branch is likely to be in relation to their current ones that they're working on, which will be, I believe it's Blender 4. Um, but they'll have other little changes that they've made along the way, so you might want them, you might not, but just something to bear in mind if you go this way, you might want to go and click on that branch 3.6 release and download that and as we can see they've actually made some changes recently compared to July 15th which is yesterday and I clicked on the wrong one uh, two days ago oh, so yeah, they, this is actually aligned with what they've got on their site so that's good to see the other downloads are these two plugins here. They're made by the same person, Eli, Michelle, or Michael. I'm going to go with Michael. I'm really sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Now, they are paid add ons, but they will make life a lot easier for you. So, you've got the Lily Texture Packer, which is going to put all your thousands of images that your model imports into one nice big image. The next one is the capture merger and for my script you can't use the Lily Texture Packer without the capture merger because of the way it works. You can and I will allow have allowed it as with the creative license to modify the script to fit your needs but you will have to modify your co the code to just use the Lily Texture Packer if you're not using the merger. 
so that's just something to bear in mind they're pretty cheap like nine dollars and six dollars I think you can't actually put six dollars in well they might have fixed it but I'm pretty sure I paid seven dollars for it because it wouldn't let me put six dollars in so just something to bear in mind and once you do that it will send you through where you can download it and you'll just download it like a zip file like we've done with the other plugins and lastly we have my plugin so if you look up in we'll do it through Google just so everybody can do this relatively easily go to Sir 306 and get up and there I am there so we can click on that and we can go through my repositories by clicking up here and clicking the Google Earth map importer if it's not there just put Google Earth and there we are there it is there so you're going to need to download this it is in a pre-release state but you can download the current main branch as I've been doing or you can download the releases I've got two releases um, this is the first edition and it was had a normal face normals being added to it which now might be more appropriate with the changes to Unreal Engine but we're going to use this one in the demonstration so if you want to use that one or this one it's up to you but for the demonstration we'll be using this one and just to make it a bit easier for you we can go to Google and show you how to find the other one so maps model importer and first result Eli Michael that's how I'm gonna say it so really sorry if it's wrong and that's how we can find this one and if we go to Gumroad now we'll go to Google make life a bit easier and put Lily Capture Merger into our searches first result and if we go to Texture Packer second result so that's how we can our first result sorry and that's how we can find it and he's got a YouTube channel explaining how to use these all by hand he's got some really great add-ons I recommend checking them out the next bit and we'll go back to the maps model importer and we'll go to Google here is we're gonna need a software called render doc so just type render doc all one word and we can click on the main one but because the latest release is 1.27 as we can see there we want to click on other builds and the reason for that is his piece of software for the import only works with 1.25 it does say blender 3.4 but I do know for a fact it works with 3.6 so just bear that in mind now we've gone to render doc we've gone to builds we we'll scroll down and we're looking for five point uh, one point two five which is here depending on your operating system I'm using a 64 bit we would click the installer or the portable zip either one works it's gonna have the same effect um, I'm not going to run through this because I've already installed it but essentially all I did was you'll get an offer of typical custom or complete to choose from I went with the complete because I wanted the whole lot and I recommend that it's not a very big file if I bring it up to that'll be my C drive and render doc let that work and I'll show you what I mean it's not a very big file so once you've got all your add-ons downloaded let's go to uh, 
close this down actually and actually we'll re-download the release version so we can actually see it in action and current I'll download it from this so we can show this one and we can hear my washing machine banging up in the background so I really apologize for that it's still working so we pretty sure it's under program files A6 and we are looking for program files. So there it is there. Right click 150 megabytes. 151. So that's for the complete install of 1.25. And perhaps it will tell me the version. No, okay. So I'm gonna go to downloads and there is this one, which is my blender I've just downloaded. And I'm going to go extract all. With your um, Maps Mol Import, don't um, extract it. Same for the Lily Texture Packer and the Capture Merger. Just leave them as a zip file, and I'll show you why in a minute. For my one, you are going to need to extract all. And I got that there, so that's still doing that. And let's delete the demo files because we don't need them. I want to show you from start to finish. So let's create a new folder on the des desktop. Mm. Actually, I'll not put the desktop, let's put it in my C drive, and the reason for that is my C drive is a much faster drive, so I'm going to delete that one because I feel, and I'm going to call it Demo. Now let's just let the demo. So I'm going to copy everything inside my zip file from the script all the way up here, just out of that um, my uh, repository zip file we just downloaded. I'm going to paste it over into here. So that is the first one all tackled, and we can close this because that's going to open up for us in a second and blender is nearly finished extracting thankfully and we are getting there rather annoying. So this might be a problem with the zip file and this could be why downloading the install executable has its advantages. But I've done a couple of zip downloads and they always seem to be a problem and I've skipped them and it's not caused me any headaches but if we see some headaches it's probably to do with that and we'll go back to doing a nice um, download through Blender and just downloading the installer instead so just keep that in mind 
I might go back to this. And I've unpacked it and it will run like this, but what I'm going to do is select all because I already had a Blender install using the installer from the download. And I'm going to go to my C drive and go to where it was installed, 3.6, and I'm just going to paste it over the top of these. So it shouldn't take too long, but there'll be some updates and so forth. So we should get the files that were missing originally from the unzip, so that'd be nice. And while that thinks about what it wants to do, let's just close that down. Allow it to think a bit quicker. While it's doing that, let's open up Rim. While it does that, let's open up Render Dock. So, when you open up Render Dock for the first time, you won't see Inject into Process. You've actually got to turn this on and the way we do this is through tools settings and here under general we've got enable process injection you'll tick this it says restart required and you press ok and it's likely to stay here which isn't going to be very helpful because you've actually got to close it and reopen it I'm going to move that old blender into here and I'm going to go to where I've just copied it and reopen this. You've got the choice between the launcher and the application and I will show you the difference between the two. So this is what happens when you open up Blender, the executable. You actually get a command prompt that will stay open or a window console I should say. I find this more useful, especially when using my script. And the reason for this is my script outputs information you can read and see. So we can see that this is all working. I'm going to select everything by pressing A and pressing X on my keyboard and clicking delete. So I'm also going to delete this. So I'm just going to save this into the file that we just created in my C drive under users. There it is, demo. I'm going to call this demo. And this video is starting to get long, so I'm going to try and wrap this up as quickly as possible. So the next thing we need to do is look at our preferences and go install. So we need to go to our downloads folder and where is it? There's the maps model importer. I'm going to install this one for this demonstration. I'll install the next one in the later video. But we'll click on that, install add-on. Modules installed. So we go maps oh, maps mole importer if it's not ticked tick it and you'll do the same for the other two and it should be Lily capture merger and Lily texture packer make sure they're ticked if you have them the next thing we're going to look at is having some user settings change so I have these on, they're pretty helpful, and the Python tool tips is one of my favorites because it gives us the Python script tips. The next bit is the status bar, and as you can see, we can see all the scene information. And I have these all ticked on because I find in the viewport, when you have these ones turned on, you do get a bit of lag and delay on large models. 
I don't know if they fixed it, but ever since 3.4 I've had these off by default because of that reason. The next bit is to look into your system and depending on your hardware, if you're NVIDIA or Intel, you're going to need to tick the appropriate acceleration for your rendering. So for me, I'm AMD and I want my HIPRT and my AMD card and my processor all ticked. I'm also going to put my undo steps down to 1. This will just save some RAM memory later on. I think. I think by default it's something like 32 and when we start working with these big scale captures we're going to fill up your RAM very quickly and hard disk as well so bring it down to a minimum you can also turn it off completely but that can be annoying if you're going to do this all by hand and not use my uh, script and that looks like everything in here. If you are going to do it by hand, I'm going to show you another plugin that you'll need to find online. It's called Machine 3 Tools. That will make working on the model by hand much easier. I would highly recommend it if you're not going to go through this automated approach. Now we've installed all our add ons into Blender, save preferences. And might as well make this my default now because it is. And we'll just save again just to make sure it's saved. And we're going to close that. And save the file by pressing Ctrl S. And this is now ready to go. So I'm going to end the video here and move on to the next step.